Hello friends, this video on Amines part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about electrophilic substitution reaction in amine. This is generally for aryl amines. Let me write this. Let me draw a resonating structure for aniline. With that, it will be a little clear. So I have NH2 and I have these things. Correct. The lone pair moves this side, you get negative charge here. So the resonating structure will be negative charge will come here and NH2 with a positive charge. Correct. Here, this will move in this direction, you will get something like this. Again, this will move in this direction. You will get something like and last we will get this. Correct? So these are my resonating structure for aniline. So if you see here NH2 group is ortho and para dielectric group. So here as I told NH2 group is ortho and para dielectric group and it's powerful activating group. And if you see here, the electron density is rich at ortho and para positions, right? So since electron density is rich at ortho and para positions, electrophile, that is electron hungry, can easily attack, right? So we have different kind of electrophilic substitution reaction. The first is bromination. I'll not go deep into the mechanism because we have discussed a lot of these mechanisms. So I have this, you add a bromine. So at ortho and para position, bromine will replace the hydrogen. And you'll get a Br here, you get a Br here, and you get Br here. Correct. This is aniline and this is 246 tribromoaniline. Correct. Now, see this NH2 is a strong activating group, powerful activating group, right? So the moment I add bromine, it is added all the places. I want to control the activating power of this NH2 group. Correct. I want to control this. NH2 activation power. Why? Let's suppose I want bromine at only one position now. At let's suppose this guy. Ortho position. Sorry, para position. So in that case, what I can do is I can poison this aniline with pyridine. So what will happen is this is my aniline. I react this with pyridine. CH3, C double bond, O, oh, yeah. I can poison this with pyridine. So what you get here is CH3. Correct. And now if I do a bromination, this is not that strong in the presence of some acid, acetic acid. So what you get is This is the major product. And I want to get my NH2 back. So I can just react with acid or base. So with that, I'll get my NH2 back. This is the typical reaction for this. Correct. If you want, you can have a reaction mechanism for this. This is pretty easy. What happens here is if you see CH3, COO, CH3, right? This is slightly negative, slightly positive charge of this carbon. This nitrogen, the lone pair will attack this carbon and this bond will break, correct? So you'll get this one. And CH3, CO minus will come out. This is what you get. 
correct and now the moment you add h plus this things comes out and h comes to this nitrogen let's talk about chlorination now so chlorination is similar to bromination i'll not discuss this much exactly same as bromination we'll have chlorination here also you can use pyridine to poison it and to get major product as para chloroaniline let's talk about sulfonation here sulfonation so if you see i have my aniline and if i do a sulfonation on this to this i have to use concentrated h2so4 what i get is aniline hydrogen sulfate correct once i had this i just need to heat this up i'll get para amino benzene sulfonic acid see i'll show you one example i have this nh2 i'll do a sulfonation so with this what will happen is i'll get nh3 hso4 minus because this will break as h plus hso4 minus right so we have seen this hx kind of reaction right so this comes nh3 plus hso4 minus and when you heat this at almost 460 kelvin what you get is nh2 and so3 h and this will be in equilibrium with this compound nh3 plus so three minus because this will keep on moving here and there. So this kind of reaction we have seen sulfonation. Correct. The next reaction is nitration. So here I have my amine. Nitration. I need HNO three and sulfuric acid. So what I get is a mixture of ortho, meta, and para product. This is my NO two at para, the major one, fifty one percent almost. This is my again NO2 at this position almost 47% and I get this also. This is the major one 51%. This is the next one 47%. And this is a rare one that is 2% because with this ortho and paradietric. Correct. Now, if I want major of para nitro aniline, so in that case, what I can do is I can poison this. The way we have done earlier, I can poison this is pyridine CH3 C double bond 2. So, with this, what you get is this compound. You have seen the reaction mechanism for this. Right, and on this, if I do a nitration with the sulfuric acid, what I get is major product as this guy. Right, it's called para nitro acetylamide. Now, on this, I can do H plus or OH minus, I'll get back my NH2. Paranitroaniline is the major product. Correct. And please note that aniline will not undergo fetal craft reaction because this NH2 will react with AlCA3 because it's the Lewis acid. AlCA3 is Lewis acid, right? And N acquires a positive charge because and it acts as a strong deactivating. We'll see this. We'll have a numerical where we'll ask why AlCA3 uh, fetal craft reaction will not be possible in case of aryl amines 
Correct? We will take that. Just I'll show you once. See this Friedel Craft reaction happens in the presence of AlCl3. We know this, right? So the moment I have is NH2. You have AlCl3 coming here. So Al3 is acidic in nature and aniline is basic. So what happens is they will react to form a salt and this salt will be something like this NH2 AlCl3 this is plus and this is minus. It will form a salt. Actually AlCl3 is used to make the, uh, my aryl or RCOCl as a stronger electrophile. But in this case, the AlCl3 itself will react with NH2. So this riddle graph reaction won't happen for aromatic amines. We'll discuss this in the next few slides. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.